So this patient has come into the wound care clinic for a dressing change and a wound evaluation. She has a calcaneal wound and uh, we remove the dressings here and what you're noticing is that we have some free-range maggots in the wound. This certainly is not unusual especially during the summer months when uh, the flies are out and about. Uh, you can see that the uh, critters, the maggots, certainly love the necrotic tissue and they're actually working to do some of the debridement, but we're going to give them a little hand today and uh, get rid of some of that tissue. We prefer not to see the free-range maggots, although as you're aware, maggot therapy is uh, commonly used in uh, wound care circles. And we can see them right here. It still doesn't mean that I don't get bit. Oh, I just don't get Oh, so. And you can see as we uncover that, they're hiding there under the margin. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to go along the margins, taking off the hypertrophic callus. And we got some more maggots there. So those little guys running, running for their lives. Quite sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you know I'm going to take him away. Oh. We're just working away the, around the wound. And taking all this hypertrophic callus off. Let's see that comes off. Now that we've got the margin debris, it will come across the wound base. You can see these maggots are certainly hiding deep in the tissue. They tunnel in, they debride it by eating it away with their enzymes. So we're not going to get rid of all of this necrotic tissue, but I want to try to make sure that we get as much as we can. Pretty much limited by her pain. What I'm going to do now is just come across the wound base now that I've debulked it. Come across with a curette. These sharp curettes work really well as a complement to Debridement with iris scissors pickups. This is looking a lot better. Most of the dead tissue gone. We're going to go ahead and stop there. Okay.